Yo guys, what is going on? It's your boy Farfetch here, back with a brand new YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I believe is probably currently the best Fortnite aim course or Fortnite aim training map that you can currently practice within for Fortnite Chapter 2, Season 2. Like, this map is generally insane, and I will be showing, like, the whole map, giving you guys a map code, and basically running through it all in this video. I'll also mention why this is probably a lot better than maybe any traditional aim training, such as Kovacs. So make sure you guys do watch all the way to the end, therefore you do not miss out on anything I mention. If you do go ahead to enjoy the video, make sure you guys do drop a like for me. You can always go the extra mile for me, subscribe to the channel with post notifications turned on, therefore you never miss an upload just like this. But with that being said, let's get straight into the video. So first of all, before we actually get into this, I want to give a huge shout out to a guy called Salaj. I mean, I think that's how you say his name. Sorry if I did butcher that. But shout out to him because he is the creator of this map. I'll obviously link his YouTube, everything down below. So you guys can go and check him out and some of the other maps he has created. But what I'm going to do is hop straight into the map for you guys, run through it, and explain why this aim course is so good for just generally improving your aim. Okay guys, so as you can see, I'm over on the map right now. And like when you spawn in, this is literally all there is. Like this is all you're greeted with. You spawn with a gold tag. And obviously you can also choose different weapons. So you're not limited to one shotgun and also not just limited to shotguns either you can come over here you have an array of smgs you can also choose from this map is actually prioritizingly to practice up close aim that is why ars are not included in this map but what's actually so good about this map and what actually sets it aside from the rest is because there's actually quite a few customizations you can make so right here it does say zombie movement you can actually alter how these zombies move these zombies right here are basically your target and you'll be shooting these to practice your aim so by shooting here this zombie will spawn and this zombie will bounce so basically you'll be practicing shooting a zombie with this bouncing motion you can choose side to side and this is where the zombie will just be going back and forth between like these two portals that are built in so this will be a little bit harder like you have to try and time your shot like that is actually super hard and then you do also have standing so basically you'll be practicing on a target which is uh, virtually standing still it'll just slightly move around this area this is probably the easiest out of all of them so if i was to rate them from easiest to hard this will be easiest then it'll be the bouncing which is basically like this and then it'll be side to side and of course the side to side this is actually super hard another thing you can also do is adjust the zombie health this is honestly just self-explanatory and it's basically just preference obviously if you shoot a zombie with 50 health or your target does have 50 health it's going to be easier to both kill him and hit that shot because unless you're really unlucky you'll have to just shoot him once whereas if your target is 100 health in most cases you'll have to hit either two good shots or you'll just have to simply practice hitting a very good first shot so personally this 100 health option will be the best and most beneficial for you to practice with and this right here this zombie this is just an example so you're not actually practicing your aim with this zombie here so what you do obviously you load into the map you select which moving you want so let's say for the example of this video i'm going to do bouncing and i'm just going to say put mine on 50 health and then once you've done that it just say right here after choosing your target shoot this to start the course and it basically just says start editing what you do is you press start editing and then what you'll actually do is load into this right here which is simultaneously both an edit course and the name training map this actually gives the map a little bit of variation so you're not just standing there trying to shoot at targets it's actually almost like an obstacle course which you have no choice but to make your way through and kind of find these targets and practice your aim on the way through that it really does make it a whole ton of fun here's me actually giving it a go So there you go, you guys just seen them clips right there. And honestly, Lux, and generally just is really fun. Like, I literally sat here for about 40 minutes and just kept going and going through this course. And I didn't really get bored one bit. It's almost somewhat addicting. And that is also one of the main reasons this could definitely be better than Kovacs. Despite Kovacs having a little more flexibility and variation, as you can of course practice a variety of different aim drills, this map, in my opinion, could potentially still top it. And what actually makes me say that is the fact that the whole course is actually also randomized. So what seems to be every 45 to 60 seconds, the map will kind of reset and it will take you back to the start start you'll virtually just respawn and then just keep going again it kind of implements the rng aspect to the game as everything from the edits and also where these targets are going to show up actually consistently changes and this makes for a lot of fun because you never know what is around the corner that like you can run into a variety of different edit sequences which can range from like super easy to intermediate and even super high tier player edits which is again the perfect balance between your traditional aim course map and an edit course it kind of combines both mechanics and gifts for the best and most effective practice another thing which also 
also makes this map of course stand out and come very closely to maybe even being better or at least a good alternative to Kovax is of course it's actually free like you don't have to pay anything to get this like I'm not going to discredit Kovax it's a good aim trainer but it does cost money roughly 10 to 15 dollars to purchase on Steam and it's also kind of like external to the game so you have to go out your way to not only buy it download it but to also play and run it before you load up your game which may even be financially an issue for some or just generally a burden to do so this aim map is solely within Fortnite like you just load into your creative put the code in and get straight into the map maybe give yourself anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour playing on this map which allow you to practice and revise not only aiming but also editing right in the game and although it may look super easy it generally isn't and I can assure you this will give you really effective practice and also what's better and not to like about practicing your aim for Fortnite on the actual game itself like in one way or another the most effective aim practice you could ever get is just by generally playing the game and this really steps it up another thing and the last thing which is also great about this map and that is that it's actually extremely FPS friendly like you'll experience really good FPS when playing on this map like I know some creative maps can actually be really laggy this map is extremely minimal and will not use up a lot of your game so even if you're playing on console you could play this map and run it at a smooth 60 FPS which is of course the best and highest FPS a console can run and if you're on PC you'll be almost certain to reach your max capped FPS limit which again does also separate this from Kovacs because I know a lot of people do complain that when you're using Kovacs Kovacs almost feels like it uses a lot of performance which surprisingly it actually does and also people do complain that Kovacs does feel like it's in 60 FPS or they're consistently practicing the aim at 60 hertz whereas with this map you won't get that at all and that guys is about it for this video this is more one of those things where you have to just get in and give it a try yourself I'm just kind of giving it that little vouch pushing it out to my audience and I guess spreading the awareness to how good this map really is like I'm gonna be using this myself every day to warm up and practice both my aim and mechanics like it's the best two-in-one warm-up map at least in terms of minimalism and as I said just having everything you really need all in one again shout out to the creator of this map I will link him in the description I'll also put the map code down in the description as well for you guys to try out this map for yourself if you did go ahead to enjoy this video you did get to the end I'm surely doing my job right so make sure you guys do drop a like for me subscribe to the channel if post notifications turned on therefore you never miss an upload just like this with that being said I hope everyone has an amazing day it's been your boy Farfetch and yeah peace